Five Live Friday. That's right. It's the best segment of the week, if you <laughs> ask me. Gail joins us now from the South Plains Wildlife Rehab Center with more. Welcome to Wildlife Friday. Today we're going to talk about the striped skunk. Actually, there are three skunks that can be found in the Lubbock area. The hog nose and the spotted skunk, which we don't see very often. Mostly we get the striped skunk, which has a stripe going down the back. And as you see, I'm holding the tail underneath the skunk, so it will not feed me. We have 21 baby skunks. Some are outside, some are in here. We've got, and we're teaching them to eat. Um, we've got three skunks right here. Over here, we've got nine skunks. We've just cleaned the cage and we're, they're learning to eat. They're eating chicken and baby food and formula and there's nine in there. And over here we have some younger skunks. There's three more in there and they are eating. We haven't cleaned them yet. This is a very labor intensive, expensive job. Please do not trap skunks. It is not the time of the year to trap skunks because they have babies. We have had multiple calls of people wanting to bring us skunks because they're running through their yard. They love yards with lush vegetation. That's where they're going to be kept cool and it's so hot that you need to put water out for wildlife. But now is not the time to trap skunks. If you do trap them, you better make sure that they're not a lactating mom because if you trap a lactating mom and do not get the babies, and then the babies die, you're gonna have the smell of death. And it's going, with this heat, it's going to be terrible. So please be kind to walleye. Please enjoy the skunks. They're not here for that long. I heard a show on the radio talking about all the skunks in Lake Ridge and Tech Terrace, and you could bring them to the wildlife center. That is not true. We are not a relocation center. We only take in injured and orphaned native wildlife. We are like a hospital. So please, if they are there in the yard, just keep your dogs or cats inside because they are a rabies vector. You can see we have this sign here and all of us who handle them have our rabies shots. But enjoy the wildlife. It's, it's nesting time and it's time that uh, everybody's having the babies. They'll be gone soon and you won't have to deal with the problem. Thank you for watching KLBK Wildlife Friday.